So this is where we've got to. It's Tuesday night and I've decided to set it up this way. I've got one nut as a spacer, which you can see there, and I'm going to weld on there, right on there, on each bearing. Uh, I've got the bearings sitting like that, so if I decide to use them both perfectly together, they can be spaced like that on top of each other if I want, or I can undo the bolt and uh, move them up a bit. I think I've got it as, as straight as I probably can, uh, generally. I'm using 8mm bolts, uh, M8 threaded bar, sorry, and M8 bolts, six little sections of metal that I cut from a sheet of scrap. And the idea is that when they're all welded on, uh, I can remove these sheets of cardboard, which you can see I've got six in there. Uh, so I'm hoping that when it's all welded on and there'll be a little bit of bending and a little bit of creaking and the bearing won't move round like that anymore, obviously, because it'll all be joined together. That's the whole idea. If that still moves, then I'll put some weld in the top so that it doesn't move. But what we hope happens is the welding goes okay, then uh, we pull the bits of cardboard out and it turns beautifully. That is the idea. Whether that will happen or not remain to be seen, but I'm going to do the welding now and touch wood, it'll all be good. Whew. I'm hanging by the shed door, that thing nearly just caught fire. Well, it actually did catch fire. Whew. Let's hope that as an uh, puff the whole project. Whew, Jesus. Well, I've got to say that was pretty scary. Uh, good news is I've undone the grub screw and it still turns. Uh, it won't be turning as it was originally intended to turn, obviously, as it's been used in this bizzle. So this is the moment of truth and I'm afraid I don't have a tripod. Uh, so I'm just gonna try pulling the bits of uh, cardboard out. One by one. God, it feels very tight that side. Right, I'm going to put the camera down and have a play and uh, I'll see what's up if we've got a winner or a loser. Peace. Right, that didn't work. It's very close. But what I've realised I can do is these bolts can be adjusted with this in place. So if I can ram enough stuff in to separate it from the edge, then uh, we might be in business. But yeah, first go didn't quite work, uh, but we'll carry on trying to get it perfectly centred. So, this thing didn't quite work out. Uh, it's not fully game over for it and I haven't broken anything. Let me just show you. Firstly, that's the underside because uh, it got welded on the top rather than that side. Right, this sounds weird, but I'm gonna try it without the top roller bearing because this thing fits in perfectly. So, I'm just gonna tighten that up and see if that made any difference. So no real success for now, but we'll carry on. <coughs> uh, when I have a new idea, I'll have a play with it. I might just take it all apart and start again, but I haven't really ruined anything other than potentially this bearing. So, in a bizzle. Also, I'm hoping to get a bit of wind today and test this thing properly for the first time with the new blade uh, set up on it where it's further back. Welded together. Just there. So yeah, that's in uh, running in easy mode at the moment. So it's hardly, hardly producing electricity. That was just preferable to sitting there watching it not going around. So later on I'll be changing the gear set up and uh, we'll try and get some power out of it. Peace.